Style-wise, pretty much everything I do is with spray paint, one way or another. I do a lot of uh, adhesive stencils, which is what I'm doing now. I'll do uh, graphic design and, and take the graphic design into a computer and uh, create an image that gets cut out and then I utilize that image for like a one-off stencil. So it's kind of one of the things that I incorporate into it a lot. I'm, I have a background as a graffiti artist, so everything I do generally incorporates some sort of text into it on some level, whether it's really abstracted graffiti wild style stuff or just a, a plain stencil font to, to get a text or a message across in the work. But I venture off into everything from clothing, murals, sculptural work, uh, graphic design, whatever sparks my mind to, uh, to do a project. I'll kind of get myself dirty in. Do you think that there is a space in galleries for graffiti? I know a lot of people are feel like it's it's not art. For sure there is that that like very straightforward perception of graffiti not being an art form at all, which you definitely hear a lot of. I think in, in, in that sense, in that argument, you know, it's completely wrong. Like it absolutely can fit into that mold. It can be contained in ways, you know, very subtle, like on this painting where the text almost falls so flat yet it's still so bold and dimensional when you really get into the line work of it. I think you can sneak it in on levels because it's just, it's elevated levels of, of text design and text structure. But I also think there's a rawness to it that needs to for sure not exist in the gallery and, and you know, needs to be in those dark, moldy, musty places with rats and roaches and just be in that environment and just be that raw. I mean, I, I, think, I think there's definitely a sense of it that can fit into both environments, but it is a raw art form that works best in that kind of grit and that grind and that texture and environment. I've always had trouble personally when it's come to like illustration and drawing because I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, like working on human form and figurative stuff. So somehow when I started being drawn to the hummingbirds, it allowed me this like escape to find something that I could paint that was realistic, but painted in a way that I was comfortable with and didn't have to be a perfectionist. So that was like an interesting way for me to get something out and feel comfortable about it. So it was, it was kind of just like something, something internal that was kind of awesome that clicked with those two. Columbus is interesting. It's always fun to show like anywhere and like the bigger the event and the more the, the push and backing, like always the funner. This year was kind of interesting because I stepped out of my norm with visual art and went in this kind of performance art direction with fire shows, with performances at trauma, with fashion shows, you know, with just various different outlets, you know, dance performances, live body painting, a bunch of different ways I've, I've pushed that out. So that's been kind of like an interesting way of f furthering expression um, that Columbus has offered, like a really nice kind of ground level way of getting into. You can find me on Tumblr at Core Rock um, and find me on Twitter at Core Rock. Obviously on Facebook, Ashley Voss, uh, corerock.com is also one place that you can find me. And then the Army of One web store is aowclothing.com. Cool.